Hello again. Welcome to Eden's All Around. In the previous episode, we took you to three famous temples in Bangkok. If you haven't watched it, you can click the link on the top right corner of the video. Now, after we have taken you on a sightseeing tour around Bangkok, we would like to take you to some cool indoor sites to learn something new as well. We hope you like museums and galleries because you will love to add these places to your favorite list. We have gathered different types so that you can choose what suits your interest. So, in this episode, we are going to take you to visit the National Museum Bangkok, Museum Siam, Bangkok Planetarium, and the Bangkok Art and Culture Center. Before we start. There is one thing that I have to tell you. We were not allowed to take video in some museums, so the best we could do was to take photos for you instead. All right, if you're ready, let's go. The first place for today's episode is the National Museum Bangkok, also known as the p r a n a k o r National Museum. The museum is located next to Thammasat University, on the opposite side of the Royal Field to the Grand Palace in p r a n a k o r District. It is located in the area of b a w o n s a t h a n Mongkon Mansion, also known as the Front Palace. The National Museum was established in 1859 as the first museum in Thailand. The exhibition displays Thailand's history, art history, archaeology. And ethnology. This museum will take you back to study Thai history and its evolution in each period. For those who are interested in Thai history, this museum is the must. The exhibition here is divided into special exhibitions and permanent exhibitions. While special exhibitions are occasionally held in a small building near a ticket office and a souvenir shop, permanent exhibitions are always there for you to learn about different topics. The first permanent exhibition is the Thai History Gallery, which exhibits the history of the nation and its people. The second one is the archaeological and art history collection, which displays items from the prehistoric and the historical period. The third exhibition is the decorative arts and ethnological collection, which displays items in many categories, such as clothing and textiles, handicrafts, ceramics, musical instruments, wood carving, and more. Outside the main hall, there is the cremation chariot hall, which displays various Thai royal funeral chariots used for royal cremation ceremonies. Not only that, this museum also consists of many examples of Thai architecture in the early r a t a n a k o s i n period, such as the Puthai Son Chapel and the Red House or p r a t t a m n a k d e n g If you want to visit, the National Museum is open on Wednesdays to Sundays from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. The admission fee is free for students, 30 baht for Thai adults, and 200 baht for foreigners. To travel there, you can take the MRT to Snam Chai Station, and from there you can walk for 20 minutes to the museum. If you don't want to walk, you can also take bus number 53 to the museum. The next place is Museum Siam. Museum Siam is the first discovery museum in Thailand. This museum is located near Wat Phu in p a n a k o r n District. The museum's building looks new, but it's actually 100 years old. Let me tell you about its history. Museum Siam served as a learning center, instilling conscious and understanding about Thai history. Culture and identity, as well as neighboring countries and the world. The exhibitions inside are pioneer learning methods that adapt modern technology and creative activities to make learning history more interesting and fun. You enjoy learning history through modern displays and activity in the exhibition room. If you want to visit, Museum Siam is open on Tuesdays to Sundays from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. The admission fee is 50 baht for students, 100 baht for Thai adults, and 200 baht for foreigners. 
to the Red Tube Museum Siam, you can do the MRT by simply getting off at Sanam Shai Station, then use it as seat number one, which is connected to Museum in France. Next page is at Educational Museum for Saint Levels, and that is Science Center for Education, also known as the Bangkok Penetrium. The Science Center for Education was established in 1992. This science center focuses on providing knowledge and understanding in the areas of geography, science, and astronomy. The exhibitions are displayed in an enjoyable way, so that you can learn from real simulations. We assure you that you will have fun and gain new experiences that are completely different from the lectures in class. The exhibition at this center is divided into exhibition halls, exhibition building, and a planetarium hall. This is the planetarium hall. Inside the hall, there are exhibitions about astronomy. There are also projections on the dome ceiling inside the hall. Apart from the planetarium hall, there are many exhibitions in other buildings. The exhibitions have interesting displays and activities that make running science more enjoyable. The exhibitions are divided into many topics such as health science, technology, dinosaurs, marine animals, environment, insects, and many more. If you want to visit Bangkok Pentarium, it's located in Kongter District. It's open on Tuesdays to Sundays from 9.30 am to 4.30 pm. The admission fee is 20 baht for children and 30 baht for adults. You can get there by taking the BTS to a government station and then walking for a few minutes to the Bangkok Planetarium. The last place in today's episode is for people who love us, and that is the Bangkok Art and Culture Center or BACC. This art center is located in a commercial area in Patumon District, in the city center, and is regarded as Bangkok's largest public art gallery. Let me tell you about its history. The Art Center project began in 1995 in order to have a contemporary art center in Bangkok. However, it was suspended in 2001. Finally, in 2005, the project was picked up again and the building was finally in progress after a decade of campaigning. The Bangkok Art and Culture Center is a popular hangout place for students. This art center consists of 9 floors with spiral walkways that allow visitors to see the upper floors. This place consists of galleries, meeting rooms, an auditorium, a library, and a number of shops. It hosts various temporary art and cultural exhibitions all year, as well as provide cultural programs such as cultural talks. This place also provides a space where people can gather and meet artists. Not only that, but there are also cafes and souvenir shops and art supply shops. If you want to visit BACC, it's open on Tuesday to Sundays from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. It's free admission for everyone. It is easy to travel by BTS. You simply take the BTS to National Stadium Station, then use exit number 3. The art center's third floor entrance is connected to the station. And that's all for this episode. In fact, apart from our four recommended places, there are actually more than 100 museums in Bangkok, such as Delegi and Gibbons Museum of Counterfeit Goods. But it's impossible for us to cover them all for you. So, it is best if you explore by yourself and find the places that truly suit your taste. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to TU English channel for more content. See you in the next episode.